Hello, this is Kika from Helsinki. My three takeaways from the Lupus European meeting in Bruges in March 2024 are these. First is Eric Moran, an Australian professor of rheumatology. He gave an opening speech at the conference and he was talking about the major achievements in the past decade. And uh, my, I just wrote down what he said, that almost 29,000 research papers were published between 2014 and 2024, but only two drugs. Uh, he gave us major achievements, the treat to target and EULA recommend, recommendations for treatment for the treatment of lupus and uh, the the combination therapies treating lupus using a biologic and and an uh, an old some other drug together to avoid cortisone that was the main thing that uh, he was saying that that uh, we've been able to push down or bring down uh, using cortisone in the treatment of lupus because that has the worst side effects in the long run so this looks promising. The second one I'm talking about is from session 14 about lupus in minorities and especially uh, Antoine Efron's speech from France about lupus and ethnic ethnicity. And uh, uh, I was surprised to find out that uh, there is ra racism found in healthcare. The patient have reported this and it's also in the healthcare system. Unequal access to healthcare, that is the main cause. Delayed and or decreased access to specialty care and diagnosis, that sounds bad. And uh, the, the, also the clinical trials uh, the minorities are very underrepresented in them. Uh, less than 15% of, uh, of the patients in clinical trials are from ethnic minorities. So there, there is a thing to improve. And my final one is, uh, of course, Nathalie Coste Dua uh, and her, her uh, speech about... Uh, uh, in the session seven that I co-chaired with Professor Marta Mosca from Pisa University, uh, the session was about best, best approaches to manage uh, risks. And Costa Dua, Dua talked about hydroxychloroquine, of course. And uh, I didn't take any notes. I was co-chairing. I should have, but I was just listening and uh, what she was saying is that please continue with your hydroxychloroquine. It's the, it's the best to manage, manage uh, the risks of all sorts, uh, atherosclerosis and, and all uh, damage and uh, to, uh, to prevent lupus from activating. So if you can, please keep on taking hydroxychloroquine as as you have so far.